Good Thursday morning, Smarties. Dave from Gamble Smart here. We have some good news in the state of Texas. Gambling, casino gambling specifically, and sports betting could be coming to our state soon. More right after this. So what I'm going to share with you is a recent poll done by the Texas Hispanic Policy Foundation. This is a political action committee, a PAC, that did their own independent survey of 1,600 Texans about casino gambling, sports betting, uh, different gambling-related questions in general. So now Texas in general doesn't have casino gambling. There are a few tribal casinos. We do have state lottery here. We have uh, Mega Millions, Powerball, um, you know, Scratchers. Uh, there also is poker rooms. Um, they are allowed per state regulations as long as they're not public. So you can't have like open to anybody. You have to have a membership, seat rental. The house cannot take a rake. These are all the rules around Texas poker rooms. There are several around me. Uh, there's several in Dallas, Austin, Houston. There's a lot of them around the state and they are very popular. However, casino gambling has eluded Texas for quite a while. We have a large contingent of people who are very much anti gambling, anti casino gambling, specifically, and anti sports betting. This revolves around a lot of different things uh, religious groups, um, people who have actually lived during the time when the mob was big in Texas. If you don't remember the mob being big in Texas, well, remember a guy who kind of maybe shot somebody else, who shot somebody else? Um, and it was a big kind of news because the president was involved. These kind of things are what our history is about. The mob was big here. And so a lot of older people especially believe that casino gambling brings the mob back, which we know now that's not true. Corporations are the main driving force behind uh, casino gambling. Um, if casino gambling does come to Texas, which here's the other kind of instigating factor the sands corporation family that owns the sand corporation bought the mavericks from mark cuban this past year and pledged to build a resort with a new stadium that would essentially be grown and they did not they were not mincing words on this when they said the idea would be to have resort style casino when it becomes available so they are already preparing they already bought land right in the middle of Dallas. This is how things get done when people with money get involved directly with policy. This is how we grow as kind of a state in gambling. So Texas gambling, again, we've had many bills. This last, last year in session, there were three different bills that resolved around resort gambling. Uh, very specific that were in this, uh, three very different rules. I actually have a very good relationship with Representative Charlie Guerin, who represents my uh, local district here. He's our state representative. And this is his saying is that casino gambling is coming. Texas wants to be ready for it. And partially for being ready for it is having rules in place, which means they do not want gas station gambling. They do not want every single place around to be a casino as it is in Oklahoma or other places. So when you see these bills coming in, there were three last year. There was only one the year before that. We've seen an uptick in the number of lobbyists for casino style gaming that have registered with the state. Now, I, the other side of the aisle, the anti-gambling in Texas, those lobbyists primarily are from Oklahoma and Louisiana because they do not want Texas to have gambling because they are making a lot of money off Texas. But back to that survey, that the poll that the Texas uh, Hispanic Heritage Foundation uh, did, Texas Hispanic Policy Foundation did, surveying 1,600 different Texans. So they found that 56% of the people supported con construction operation of destination resort casinos. Now this is very specific wording, destination resort casinos meaning Vegas style gaming, meaning large casinos, not small gas station casinos. I believe in my personal opinions, I don't want to see casino, uh, slot machines in every single gas station. I don't like that view. I don't like the idea that they're around so easily. I want people to have to actually go to a property 
and gamble there rather than making gambling too accessible. Um, they also found that 47% of people um, supported Texans legal and online sports betting. That's a huge deal as well. Sports are huge in Texas. They always have been. And bringing sports betting in is going to bring a large revenue stream to Texas where those slot, those dollars are actually leaving the state currently. So only 30% of people were against having resort destination style gaming. That is a large, large number to have 56% for and only 30% against. Okay, that is a big deal when it comes to doing a poll. All right. Now, I realize 1600 does not sound like a big sample size, but actually it's a healthy sample size for an in-state proposition such as gaming. Um, the other thing that's kind of huge is that the people who participated in this poll were mostly churchgoers or a huge portion of them were churchgoers. And that has always been kind of a huge thing of the Baptist contingent here in Texas has been a big, big blocker in the past for things like gambling. So that's kind of showing that you have this co core conservative group is coming around to casino gambling. Gambling. Now, why is this important to Texas? Because like other states, taxes are killing the state. They're killing the people. Property taxes are out of control. The legislature has done a lot to prevent that and to help with that. But we as the people feel like we are heavily taxed. We want better schools. Obviously, we do not mind paying taxes to have police and fire and those things that the state provides. However, just like every American, we don't want to pay more taxes. So the answer is more revenue streams coming in for the state. Casino gambling fills that huge void in that revenue generation market. Hopefully, there's a lot more coming I am very excited about the future of Texas gambling, especially resort style gaming coming to Texas. I believe we are so close within the next five years. I see it happening maybe even sooner than that. On the inside, I say maybe in the next two years, but that's asking for a lot because you're going to have to have a lot of things go on. Mainly, Texas citizens are going to have to vote for a constitutional amendment to allow gambling and gaming and establish a state gaming commission. So there are hurdles still to overcome. More coming soon. This story is going to be posted in the description so you can see all my receipts. Gamble smart, gamble safe. Have a great week.